Hello friends. Whenever a pensioner's account is transferred to Sparsh, pensioner is informed about the migration and in about 2 to 3 weeks is provided user login and password for logging into Sparsh. Pensioner then tries to log in with the given ID and password but is unable to log in though the pensioner types exactly word for word ID and password provided by Sparsh thereby creating a wrong first impression. It is not the fault of Sparsh but it is a local problem, a solution for which will be provided in this video. There are essentially four solutions and either one can work in a particular case if the other is not working. So let us head towards Google Chrome Internet Explorer to find the first solution. First we will see what is the error that is displayed when user ID and password are inserted. So first you should go to the Sparsh website. So for that you will have to type Sparsh for defense and this will lead you to the first site which is Sparsh for defense pensioners. You click on this and this will lead you to the Sparsh website page. After clicking on the Sparsh website, we are now redirected to Sparsh website where an alert will be issued. You click on this OK to dismiss this alert. Now the main page will open. Now click on login so that we can use our ID and password which was given by Sparsh. So once you click on login, here it will ask that you should fill in the username and password and then CAPTCHA. I will fill in and click on login to show you what error it displays. So as you can see it displays username and password is invalid. So we will find out the solution and we will move towards the solution number 1. For solution number 1 close this first website and go to Google Chrome page. We have now come to Google Chrome main page. Here you will see on the right hand side corner there are three dots. Click on this dot and it will display a list. In this list click on history. When you click on history a new page will open by the name of history. Under this history you will find a tab clear browsing data. You can use this, click on this clear browsing data and clear all the, browse, all the history from your laptop or mobile whatever is the case. And you should be now able to log in with the user ID and password. For that you have to re-login. First you have to exit and re-login and then try this. But if this does not work then there is a second solution. For solution number 2 again you will have to go back to Google Internet Explorer and again that three dots on the right hand side upper right hand side corner. Click on this three dots again. Once you click on these dots then you have to next click on settings. Click on settings. Once you click on settings, setting page will open. Here you click on privacy and security. Once you click on privacy and security, on the right side privacy and security under it, it will show clear browsing data and an arrow mark is there. Click on this arrow mark. Another dialog box will open and now you click on clear data. By doing this and you now log out of the system, re-login and I am sure you will be able to log in to Sparsh. But if this also fails then we will have a third option. For the third option again you will have to go back to the Google main page and again that three dots on the right hand side upper corner click on those. You click on 
न्यू ऑन न्यू इन कॉग्निटो विंडो दिस टाइम ए ब्लैक स्क्रीन लाइक दिस विल कम यू हैव गॉन इन कॉग्निटो हेयर यू मस्ट टाइप स्पर्श एंड आई आई एम श्योर दैट वंस यू टाइप द स्पर्श गो टू द स्पर्श वे वेब पेज एंड put in the login id and password provided by sparsh you will be able to log in however if you are not able to log in then re log out of the system re log in and the fourth solution which i am going to provide will work for the fourth solution you will have to go back to google main page again and type fire fox download and click on download mozilla firefox for windows a window like this firefox will appear type sparsh for defense and click on this and it will leave lead you to the sparsh site by and then you can use this user id and password which was given by sparsh to log in and i am sure that you will be able to log in with this method so friends these were the four solutions which was provided to log in when you encounter an invalid user and password in sparsh with this i end this video if you want to encourage this channel please subscribe like share comment meet you with the next video till then goodbye